Welcome to the channel no one watches. I'm the Blank Man, and it's time to finish Back to the Future the game. Okay, well, probably not finish, but start. This is the beginning of the end. This is part five. Part five. We're out of time, folks. Let's go. Finger. Load in. New game. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Yes. Nice. Starring Telltale game. Oh, weird. Look at that logo already there. Presents and presents an association with universal partnerships and licenses. Happening. The five out of time. Written and designed by Andy Hartzell, Mike Stemmel. Hopefully I pronounced that. Art director Pete Seikel. Seikel. Lead programmer Randy Tudor. Lead choreographer Eric Parson. This is too hype, guys. I'm so sad this is going to end. Lead animator Jeff Sorry. There he is. Directed by Dennis Leinart. Art. Story consultant Bob Gale. Uh, hello? Marty, you're awake. Good. Uh, uh, Emmett, uh, where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, he'd hit the room. You let me sleep in? Stay right there. You should make peace with your dad. You let me sleep I in? Need to wake me up. I tried to give you a nudge before I left, but you were practically comatose. How long has it been since you slept? Aside from being knocked unconscious, I'm not really sure. Anyway, I left you back at the lab to perform an important mission. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh, I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah, is that good? Good? It's fantastic! Glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the high school and we'll... Damn! What? It's Edna. But... Okay, Emmett. One static accumulator coming up. Alright, last time. Old... Fa old Citizen Brown. Not Doc. Not Emmett. Citizen Brown. Great Scott! He drove off with Edna. Now he's Jeez, back. Doc. Watch out, you almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Uh, yeah. Hey, Dear old man. Okay? After that argument about Emmett last night... I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Not fine. Did you fix the time circuits? Where have so you been? how are the time circuits? Still broken. I've got a few ideas, but I'm occupied with other problems today. So is that what I'm destined to build for the expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And and some lightning. Fascinating. I also had an opinion. Oh my god. Doc? I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Doc. It was science. Don't you do it. But science means everything to you. Yes! You can't give up science. You love science. Correction. My younger self loves science, but if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. <sighs> See, okay, last time we got in an argument with Citizen Brown. This is Citizen Brown, not Doc. This is not Doc, okay? This is fake Doc. With Citizen Brown, okay, about... The few, about how his life is supposed to be. This is not the right way, Mr. Citizen Brown. Another path? Emmett can't go back to Edna. Emmett's path is set. Even if you screw up Emmett's chances at the expo, there's no way he'll give up science now. He's too committed. You don't know me like I do. After he fails at the expo, he'll be in need of comfort. And Edna's already arranged a romantic little trip up to the lake. Another path? What other path? I don't know. Architecture, automobile repair, taxidermy. 
Maybe I'll even pursue a life in law like my father always wanted. As long as Emmett steers clear of science, Edna and I will be free to be happy together. Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No! You idiot! Ugh. Doc! Oh my god. What the hell? No, he's gone! Where'd it go? Uh... Uh, get the DeLorean! I would just steal the DeLorean right now. Oh my gosh, we're just like... Okay, I guess we're going this way. Um, so yeah, that's not Doc. Oh, there it is. Huh. Oh my god. Oh, come on! <laughs> that's such an... It's, I feel like this should just be nothing but, like, the final act of this, like, story that we've... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why even give me an option to do the lamp post if it's just... Uh, yeah. Here, little static thingy. Son of a gun. Oh, can we chase up the lamppost? Is he gonna turn the light on? I have to climb the lamppost, huh? Yep. Okay. Oh! I can't reach it. Shut up, Marty! Right there! Oh god! Give the music. How did he build that? A flying machine? You could fly. You could theoretically fly if you could figure out how to control it, right? Ooh. Look at Trixie over there. Wait, she get her job back? The future is coming today. There's a shiny new tomorrow on the way. A day of invention is at hand. It's a mystic futuristic wonderland. Just around the bend, my friend, you'll see a Enlightenment under the sea. You care to dream and dare to dream, your dreams can all come true. The under the sea dance, that's a nice reference. Professor Pringle's algae cakes, gross. I got a feeling we're gonna have a run in with the cops. But I thought you fired her. I found a loophole. What kind of loophole? Just a loophole. You're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right, all right. Say, don't you? He can have put his penis in the loophole. Call it to Emmett Brown's booth. Huh? He can put his penis oh. in the loophole. Yeah, right. The That's the loophole he found. It's almost here now. The yep. Is coming. That's what he it's said. Artie's like, I'm the future. <laughs> I'm the future. You can get your job back, you know. Oh, you know how it is. Gosh, okay. Or let me fly. Hey, Artie, what do you think? Quite a setup, huh? The expo? Sure. But I was wondering. Where's Emmett? How did Trixie get her job back? You can tell me. How did you manage to get Trixie her job back? I thought her being Canadian was a deal breaker. You got married, right? If something's really important to you, you find a way. You ought to know that. You got married, right? You haven't seen Emmett Brown, have you? Isn't he at his booth? It's the tall one over there. See you around. Okay. Algae cake! How about an algae cake? Oh, stock guy. Thing, mister. Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes? But I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey! You're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice! Oh my god, oh, this guy. For the love of no algae cakes for you, buster. Wasn't he the guy also at the freaking... The... the, the... Excuse me, Mr. Duto, Jacques Duto, at your service. Jacques Duto? I get a ride. Who are you? I get a ride in that bathosphere. Certainement, if you've got a ticket. Jacques Who are Duto, you? famous diver. So you're some kind of celebrity? I do not like to brag, but uh, I have a small following, yes. See you around. Don't you mean Jacques Cousteau? Insert ticket to enter. You are going to need a ticket. Yeah, dummy, I know. Those look like the controls to raise and lower the whatchamacallit. He's so much to look at. Oh my god, okay. It's some kind of deep sea diving thingy. Yes. Enlightenment awaits you under okay. the sea. The chronometric clock. 
think that's supposed to be a clock. Yeah, definitely. Insert ticket to enter. We need tickets. Can't believe it. And here he comes, right on cue. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective, but you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Corleone. What's going on here? Well, uh, Miss Strickland here seems to think, uh... You should step aside and let the officer do his duty, now. Wait a what? minute, that's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. This woman, you don't take credit for her own things. Him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. You broke it with him, lady. Mrs. Edna, you thought he was a dirtbag. You judged him because of a simple device. It was my plan to get him back to inventing what he should be inventing. What's your point? Oh, I think you know exactly what my point is. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Michael Corleone really is and where he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Michael? <sighs> I am not. Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Smirnov. Thanks a lot, Doc. Yakov Smirnov. Come on, a terrorist. Chaos and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo. Annie, you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, Yakov, but I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. Don't, you don't want to do that, pal. Come here. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose, but she's been getting some clout in town. Ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. Well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Is that a good thing? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Well, I'll dig something. Up. What? You do that. He's like, hey, if you can. Meantime, you and young Mr. Brown better. Uh, where is he anyway? I don't know. Wait, I'm trying to figure that out. Seen him? Emmett, has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Got capped. Find him. I capped him. Oh, I capped him. him. Go. This radical subversive, just like that. Yes. Okay. So I gotta find Emmett. And, and do something about Edna. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Come on, Emmett. Where are you? Probably hiding, right? Phone booth of the future. Oh, man. If only they knew. Only Welcome they knew. To the phone booth of the future. Made with Atlas glass. Atlas. Unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. I mean, that's comedic. Why would you even make... Why would you even say that? Be like, hey, can't actually make a phone call with this. KL4253. That's tech -me to you, kiddo. Use right. of progress. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know? Now, what can I do you she for? She sucked his dick. She sucked Artie's dick. That's what happened. Where's Emmett? Can you postpone Emmett's demo? Edna got Emmo's... Uh, Edna got Emmett's booth shut down. How'd you get your job back? Come on, son. You got married. Told me she, they got married. To get your old job back. He did? But it was supposed to be a secret. There's no secrets between us. He couldn't resist telling such a... Good story. Yeah? Still, I'd like to hear it again, uh, from your point of view. Uh, he didn't tell you anything. Marty, you idiot! Yeah, but like, yeah, that's so... I congratulate... I was just... Come on, man! Tell me about so, the attraction. which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular...
popular attractions are the glass house, the future furnishings, and of course, enlightenment under the sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself. Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. How do I get tickets? That's a good tickets. question. Aw, put your money away. Here, we're all kind of like family now, you know? Thanks. Tell me about it. Where's Emmett? Have you seen Emmett around? I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah. Uh, uncle or something? <sighs> or something. Great Scott! He's breaking the rules! Can you postpone Emmett's demo? Emmett's demonstration has hit a snag or two. Can you delay his act for a while? Let someone else go before him? Sorry, I don't set the roster, and they won't let me change it. Uh, I can drag my feet a little, but uh, if your friend's not ready to go on pretty soon, we might have to skip his act. Uh, I mean, demonstration. I can't. Hey, it's just a science demo. It ain't a matter of life and death. Uh, technically true. I mean, Emmett's still alive. Marty will probably still live. It just... It won't be the same! What's, when's what Emmett's demo Emmett supposed for? to go on? Let's see... Eight kilobeats past 50. We're on metric time here at the Hill Valley Expo. Eight kilobeats past 50. Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame don't know how to mind her own business, does she? No, she doesn't. Help me get Emmett's is booth open. Is there anything open. you can do uh, to get Emmett's booth open again? Uh, I wish there was, but I'm just amused. All we can do is inspire people. Come on, how'd you get the job back? Hey, come on, uh, inspire me, okay, Muse. You're a Muse. Can you inspire me an idea? I'll try. Well, maybe it doesn't take effect right away. Your hotness is not helping me. Come on, Trixie. I'm dying to know how you got the job back. You won't hear it from me. I don't talk out of turn. Thanks. They got Thank married you. and they banged. That's what happened. Potted plant. A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into Tannen's speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. You're right. Are you ready for a picture radio? Wonder if that's anything like MTV. Not quite as intense. Okay. Well, speak of the devil. The amazing inebriomatic. Well, from what the boys in the lab tell me, someday we'll be able to tell whether people have been drinking just by breathing into a machine like this. Try it out. I don't think so. Futuristic. Oh, we're still in the electro the, um, pacifier. Amazing, isn't why it? Why can't I think of the words? Say one day we'll be able to stun fleeing criminals by shocking them at a distance. Does it work? Nah, it's just a model. What's it called? This is, we're still in the. Why can't I think of the words? Now, can you please leave me alone to do my job? In a minute, I'm not quite through yet. Bathysphere. What is the word? Prohibition. Prohibition. We're in the middle of prohibition. It's some kind of deep sea diving, diving thingy. Okay. I think we've seen everything, right? Out. We have tickets now. We can see things. Oh, now we're really in here. Okay. This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. Okay, the potted plant. I see. I see. Okay. Oh, jeez. What does the red button do? In the house of the future, fresh fruit baskets will be replenished daily by fleets of fruit-bearing helicopters. Uh, not quite. Ah, oh, it's wax. 
Yeah, man, it's not not real. This is this is all like a prototype, man. Green button. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be complete. Ah! Phone booth of the future. Brown estate. Like four three eight five. Brown residence. Hey Hampton, how's it hanging? This is Marty, Emmett's friend. Is he there? Not at the moment. I'm afraid he's off on one of his little adventures. Thanks. Bye. At least we tried. Oh, well. At least we tried. Terminated. Greetings again, mortals. This is Tepney, Muse of Progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attraction right here at the information booth. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, we are on a time limit. And I'm not mistaken. Go down to the last one. Go down to the blue. We want blue. Give me blue! Blue! I can't. I can't go to blue. What does the blue button do? Here we go. I don't know. In the mood for fun, the house of the future comes equipped with a modern home entertainment center. Chinese checkers and everything. Nice. A fully equipped home entertainment center. Pretty tight. So where's the ColecoVision? Where's the Xbox, brother? So funny. Okay. I have some ideas. I have uh, some ideas. We gotta go on all these rides. Here's my ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. Thank you, monsieur. I hope you will find your trip to the bottom of the sea less enlightening. I just like get in there. Interesting. Jack Uto. I well, I guess. Heavy. Monsieur has a way with words. Precisely. Okay. Herman, what is this? Experience the wonder of the. That's neat. Okay. What else do we got going on here? Full fare. Oh. What is this? Get your money's worth at the expo. <laughs> here. House of glass. On your living space of. Hmm. No one in here. Okay, so someone will eventually be in there. Alright, so this is what's going on. We gotta use this phone booth. First, we need to switch out the potted plants. Greetings, forward thinkers of We gotta switch out the potted plants. Hill Valley. For sure, right? Why is this music so sinister? Jeez, that was so Hi, weird. Folks. Look at her booty. Look at the booty. Look, uh, maybe you can't see her booty, but look at her. I'm gonna put this in here, right? In here, right? Okay, Where's... call me a snoop. Boom. Would you look at that? Now. Look at this. I'm a genius. Look at this. I just got to roll of tickets too. Right. Welcome to the world of, of tomorrow, tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. A button. Nice. All right. 
fruit basket phone button. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone help. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial or say hang up to terminate your phone helmet experience. Phone booth of the future. Four, two, five, three. Expo, where the future is coming today. This is checking news of progress. To whom am I speaking? Michael hi, Corleone. Trixie, it's me, Michael. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I was just checking out this snazzy phone. Okay, bye. Bye. Conversation terminated. Okay. We need to get Trixie out of that zone so someone else answers. I'm pretty sure we got to get... Oh, I have an idea. Okay. All right. Let's just try it. Let's just try our, our, our options here. World of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. Okay. Nope. Oh, nope. Oh, go up. There we go. So, what are our options here? Phone booth of the like future. Four, two, five, three. Hill Valley Expo. Tech me speaking. Who's this? Carl Sagan, Michael Corleone, and Kid Tannen. Carl Sagan. This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. What do you want? Can I talk to Edna? Edna Strickland on the phone for me. Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Strickland! Somebody actually wants to talk to you. Mr. Sagan, I didn't expect to hear from you again till after the expo. You didn't? Yes. Wasn't that part of our plan? Yes, our plan. How about that plan? Where's Emmett? Lay off your Yakov Smirnov, your dark secret. Where's Emmett? I seem to have momentarily lost track of Emmett. Do you have any idea where I might find him? You lost him? You were supposed to keep him distracted. Oh, I Don't get all He's snooty. He's just wandered off. Well, go look for him. I've got my hands full with Parker. I'm a little unclear on the details of our plan. Unclear? But it's your plan. I mean, I I'm worried that you're a little unclear on the details. What details? All I'm supposed to do is use my poll with Detective Parker to get Emmett's demonstration canceled while you keep Emmett distracted. You are keeping him distracted, aren't you? Of course. Yes, he's a very distractible young man. Oh, that's what I keep telling everyone. Plans have changed. Your dark secret. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? Uh, uh, pin what on him exactly? You know, it. Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh, for the fire. The fault. If he hadn't come glumping up to me right after I started the fire, <gasps> I could have gotten clean away. And I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. Jeez, the speakeasy arsonist. Carl, is somebody with you? No, it's just you and me. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down Jeez. all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about it. Wow. Every night they'd open up their doors and so he they knew that. drinks and loose women flaunting their depravity to the world, and the authorities did nothing. So I did what any right thinking, rock willed woman would do I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. Bro, she, <laughs> why would you say this? Blue flames. Oh, where was I? Jesus Christ, lady! Burn down the speakeasies. Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Really? Very convenient. What? Conversation terminated. Jeez, Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. Okay. Next up on 
No! A man who saw the possibilities in pond scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot. Is it? Is his name Ernest? Okay. No, no, no. Phone button. Now we're gonna call. Yeah, we know. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm gonna end this episode off here. I know, right before, like something big is about to happen. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos just like this one, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what games you want to play down in the comment section below. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Peace.